Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we, well I finally received that Crazy B flight controller. Now this is pretty interesting and pretty cool and um, when I saw the post I was very excited and actually when I received it I'm even more excited and I'll show you why. Now some people said when they saw this on the Banggood window shopping video of mine that oh look the motors are here I'll get by via connectors. But don't worry check this out they will provide this for you. So that's just one awesome thing so far. So let's talk a little bit more about this flight controller. This little guy is for obviously like tiny whoops, but brushless tiny whoops. 1S brushless tiny whoops. Now what this is, it's an all-one flight controller. It's an F3 flight controller. It has a fly sky receiver built in. It has the ESCs built in. And check this out. A full OSD chip built in. This is insane. This is just awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy a one millimeter carbon fiber plate and I'm just gonna design a little 1S brushless micro. That's just gonna be sick. I can't wait to even do that. So let's just take a look at what it comes with because this is very important because it's so, the description is very vague if I remember correctly. And uh, right now when I just open it and I check what it comes with, it just, it's just, um, it put a smile on my face. Let's put it at that. So first of all, it was pretty cheap. I've actually forgot how much it costs, but who really cares right now? Now check this out. It comes with the dampeners, as you can tell right there. So that's pretty cool. So you get dampening. And it comes, so for the battery, you have three different types of uh, connectors here. You could use whatever batteries you currently have. So you got this one, this one. I don't, I don't know their proper names. And you get this one. So you could use any of these, whatever batteries you're currently running for your 1S, anything. So that's pretty cool. That's almost everything here that you probably need. So that's pretty awesome. Another thing, it takes also 1S high volt batteries. I highly recommend you don't put a 2S, you might just fry the hell out of it. But um, yeah, and it, they even give you a USB port, which is very rare sometimes on these small boards. And um, it's just, and I just keep remembering, you know, I just keep seeing that fly sky. And I just remember there's a fly sky receiver in here. So what do you need? Just an old one flight control, old one camera, and the motors, and a frame. And you have a sick little beast on your hand, hopefully. So like I mentioned, it is an F3 flight controller, and it does have a 5 volt regulator on board, which is a huge plus. So let's just get the tweezers here, and let's take a look here. So as you can tell here, we have ground. This one would be ground. This is 5 volt. And then it's very difficult for me to read from here, but I think this is V out, video out, and video in. If I got these wrong, I'm sorry, it's very far from me. So um, it's just, it's awesome. Does that say boot right there? Yeah, so if you do brick it, you could just uh, do this basically, just uh, bridge these two right there, and you should be good to go right there. So it is an F3 flight control like I mentioned before. It does have a full blown OSD chip on board, and um, it would go into your quadcopter like so, so that would be the front. So it would be in like this here. So obviously that would be motor one, two, and then uh, three and then four. So yeah, I don't know if they have a marked. Uh, did it come with an instruction manual? It didn't come with an instruction manual, but it's pretty straightforward. I mean, there's really nothing to it. Hold on, where do you put the battery? I have no idea actually. Um, I didn't see that. So let's just see, let me see. All right, so, okay. All right, so I found it. It's pretty trippy, kind of. It's a little bit confusing here, but it's right there. This one is ground. I don't know why they have solder on the ground. And this one obviously would be positive, but I'll double check this, but it seems that that's where you would put your battery uh, connector, whatever one you wanted to use. They are silicone, by the way. Everything is silicone here, so that, that's just even a huge plus. So race to star, hopefully this thing flies good, and if it does, I really love you guys, so. Yeah, this is pretty awesome, and uh, let's see its weight. I think its weight is very important. However, I don't have a very accurate scale for, for something that weighs super light. So let's just get an idea here. Let's move everything from under it. Let's zero this guy out. And three grams, let's see, yeah, three grams. So it's three grams. Three grams for ESC all on flight controller, uh, PDB, and what else do we have? and ESCs and uh, a receiver. I keep forgetting the receiver. This thing has so much on board, this is just insane. 
Um, yeah, so I really can't wait to build this. I have no idea how this is gonna be, but hopefully it's good, especially with the rubber dampeners and everything. And um, yeah, it should overall be pretty cool and interesting. And well, that's it. That's gonna conclude it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And please consider joining my Patreon. I do a lot of awesome giveaways. This month, I have a ton of giveaways. Uh, some new motors, like high-end motors. Uh, what else? Maybe the Emacs Baby Hawk, but a DYS Shark for sure is going out. And uh, another two, I still have not made up my mind, but as time goes on, we will. And um, yeah, it should be pretty interesting and pretty fun. Uh, it's a great way to support the channel. Also, you can use the full links down below. Those greatly support the channel. And please like, share, and subscribe. That also supports the channel and it keeps it going. And that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I uh, will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.